Eli Manning made it interesting and got them a share of the NFC East lead. On Monday night, Eli Manning, the two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback for the Giants, made his first start since being benched in favor of Daniel Jones. Matt Rourke AP Photo On Monday night, Eli Manning, the two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback for the Giants, made his first start since being benched in favor of Daniel Jones. Matt Rourke AP Photo the Philadelphia Eagles came back to get a victory they had to have and ruined Eli Manning's return to the New York Giants lineup. The Eagles erased a 14-point deficit, created by Manning's two first-half touchdown passes to rookie wide receiver Darius Slayton, and beat the Giants, 23-17, in overtime Monday night at Rainey Lincoln Financial Field to pull into a virtual tie for first place in the NFC East. It was huge. It was huge, Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz told ESPN after the game. The offense, it took us a while to get going. It did. But late in that second half, we finally felt like we had a little momentum. We knew going into overtime, if we got that ball we were gonna go score. Guys stepped up. Guys stepped up and made plays all the way around, all the positions. We dealt with some injuries and stuff. And guys just kept making plays and we came out with a W. Wentz's two-yard touchdown pass to tight end Zacherts on the opening possession of overtime won it for the Eagles. The same pair had teamed up for the tying touchdown late in regulation. That came on a night when the injuries continued to pile up and the Eagles ended the game with one healthy wide receiver. We came out here tonight and it was just, hey, the next guy's got to make a play, said Wentz, who completed 33 of 50 passes for 325 yards and the two clutch touchdowns to Ertz. We had confidence in guys. Guys are stepping up, making plays. And it was a huge win for us. Patriots admit they violated NFL policy by shooting video of Bengal's sideline. An uninspired first-half performance by the Eagles drew boos from the home crowd but they scored 20 straight points after halftime and ended their losing streak at three games. The Eagles improved to 6-7, matching the Cowboys' mark. The Cowboys currently hold the tiebreaker advantage after beating the Eagles earlier this season. The rematch comes December 22nd in Philadelphia after the Eagles face the Washington Redskins this Sunday at FedEx Field. Manning, the two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback for the Giants, made his first start since being benched in favor of rookie Daniel Jones two weeks into the season. Jones was sidelined by an ankle injury. Manning connected with Slayton for touchdown passes of 35 and 55 yards in the second quarter as the Giants raced to a 17-3 halftime lead. But the offense sputtered from there. Slayton finished the night with five catches for 154 yards, all in the first half. Manning threw for 179 yards in the first half but for only 24 yards thereafter, finishing with 203 yards on 15 for 30 passing. We've got to score some points in the second half, Manning said. The Giants lost their ninth straight game as their record fell to 2-11. Manning's career record in his 233 regular season starts for the Giants dipped a game below .500, at 116-117. Manning said his expectation had been to go in and win a football game and he was disappointed that it didn't happen. I've played a lot of football games and know the offense and know what I'm supposed to do, Manning said during his post-game news conference. I made some good throws and didn't make some plays that I needed to. Analysis, the NFL has a crowded field of Super Bowl contenders. Here's the biggest weakness for each. The Eagles pulled within 17-10 on a third quarter touchdown run by running back Boston Scott. They tied the game at 17 on Wentz's two-yard touchdown pass to Ertz with 153 remaining in regulation. The Eagles converted on 4th and 1 from their 29-yard line on that drive via a quarterback sneak by Wentz. Wentz had lost a fumble on an unsuccessful first-half quarterback sneak on a failed 4th down try. 
That was part of a dreary first half for the Eagles that led the home fans to voice their discontent. It's part of it, Wentz said. They were frustrated. We were frustrated. It's part of the game, especially playing in this passionate of a city. We were frustrated, too. We had some things that we had to correct at halftime. We made some adjustments. The defense played lights out in the second half and we did just enough to win on offense. The Eagles were without wide receiver Nelson Aguilar, running back Jordan Howard and defensive end Derek Barnett, who were on the game day inactive list. They watched wide receivers Alshon Jeffrey and J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, right tackle Lane Johnson and cornerback Jalen Mills get hurt during the game. But they still have a chance in a forgiving division that might produce the third NFL division winner with a losing record in a 16-game season. The Seattle Seahawks won the NFC West at 7-9 in 2010, and the Carolina Panthers won the NFC South at 7-8-1 in 2014. The Eagles or Cowboys will have to scramble to get to 8-8 or better. We've got no choice but to keep it going, Wentz said. We're gonna use this one. Obviously it was a sloppy one, but we got a win. Now it hopefully springboards us for these last three.